Hey everyone, well back, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> welcome back to Cheryl's Corner Requirements. And today I kind of have a Harry Potter clothing for women kind of haul that I did. So I am in need of leggings, I'm in need of shirts and a few other things. So I'm trying to get my wardrobe kind of back up to where I have some things that fit me because I put a little bit of weight, unfortunately. So yeah, I guess that comes with the age thing. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, girl like to eat, that's all I have to say. Um, so I wanted to do a little haul that I, and I got some really nice items from Her Universe. However, Her Universe clothing for me, um, mediums tend to be a little bit too big for me on there for some reason don't know why that maybe it um is but they do so if you guys remember i did my little like birthday haul and then when i did my little like birthday haul my hair is like really messy sorry y'all it's always like bellatrix messy <laughs> but anyways um so I did my birthday haul, and when I did my birthday haul with you guys, um, I did get a pair of the leggings that had, like, the Mirror of Era set on it, and it had the key and the potions, and it was super cute. It had fluffy, and I got a medium. The mediums were pretty big on me, so lesson learned, if I buy from Her Universe in leggings, I need a small, so I did go ahead while they had a flash sale um during the weekend and you need to make sure you like look on there because now I think they went up to like 18 to 20 dollars but I did do the flash sale and I got these gorgeous leggings in a small finally and I've been wearing the crud out of these things so let me just give you guys a closer look you got fluffy on there and they are officially licensed as well and this is just for us girls that absolutely love to show our fandom off. And look at that gold, 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 gold foil, you guys. Just make sure inner niffler just kind of go a little on the crazy side. Yes. So anyways, <laughs> um, so yes, I did hit up on the sale and I was able to get these leggings for a good steal. So make sure you are watching out for those. Now I paid $14.95 for my leggings. However, they are back up to $18, but still that is really a great price for them. But like I said, just make sure that you're keeping your eyes out on Her Universe because they fluctuate. Like there's right now a President Day sale is today and um, it's like 50% off or whatnot. So anyways, site-wise. And then they also have, and I was really excited to find these, and I got them in a small, and they are officially licensed as well. They are normally $30 leggings. I did get these for about $24, and they are the Deathly Hollow leggings with that beautiful print all the way down. Oh, that's, I'm not doing a good job showing you guys. Let me see if I can't because they were nicely folded. I could not believe these were at my door like so fast. I was like, oh my goodness. I cannot wait to get into these. I love leggings. A lot of us girls live in leggings, especially if you if you have a lot of assets um, going on in those ranges. So yeah, we love to wear leggings and just be comfortable and yes look at that that is the print it is on both sides these are super gorgeous i love the material it's spandex it is a spandex but it kind of reminds me of a shirt material as well but i think these feel more spandex than these feel these feel more t-shirty so either way, I'm super happy to have them and add them to my wardrobe because I am so excited to find more leggings that I can kind of like show my fandom. Um, so yeah. <laughs> the next one that I have to show you 
is this gorgeous shirt. I got it in a medium and I'm kind of thinking I should have got a small. I have tried it on. It looks pretty good. I really think this is a really beautiful shirt. It is another $29.90 item. I did pay like $14 something for it. It does have the little Deathly Hollows on it. It is a beautiful Luna Purple is what I'm going to call it because it just, it reminds me of her for some reason. It is so freaking cute. You guys will probably see me in a video in it. And normally I don't buy anything flowery because I'm not a huge, like, unless it's like roses, um, some flowers. And there's like a few other flowers that I'm like, I love, but it's very few far in between. So, yes. I hope my lighting is okay. I really need probably a different kind of, let's try our lighting here. Is that a little better? That's awful. Anyways, I hope my lighting's okay. I do need a better lighting in this room. That's the only thing I remember looking at a lot of my old videos that I did in this room and the lighting was horrendous. So I gotta work on my lighting situation going on in this room. Yes, is that not super cute? And like I said, I did get it for the sale of the $14. Super happy about that. I got a medium. I think I should have got a small. Maybe it'll shrink during, after it gets washed. Excuse me. I'm drinking boba tea. I don't know what it is. I've been wanting a lot of boba tea. So it's a lot of polyester or spandex. It is an exclusive decoration. And like I said, it is officially licensed as well. But I just love it. It's It reminds me kind of a material of... It reminds me of material of a um, of a bathing suit. I I think so. Yeah, kind of reminds me of a bathing suit for sure. But it's just so pretty. I love how it's designed. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a low cut. So if you don't like anything low, it probably isn't for you. However, you could always wear like um, a little cameo underneath it if you don't want. To do the low cut i'll wear it in one of my videos and just kind of remind you guys oh this was the shirt i showed you guys just so you can kind of see what it looks like i'm not as thin as i was but i'm also not super huge i'm just i'm thick but i'm not like super huge so to try to get you a kind of an idea of my body type so the last thing that I got, and I'm really excited for these, I don't think I'm going to wear the little suspenders on them, you guys. This one was also $14, but I just went on there and it was like $14.95 or something like that. I really need to find my prices um, just to go over them because I know for a fact when I was on there, these were the price. That's why I grabbed these particular items. So, um... I was super excited to get this. This is just so flipping adorable. And it's something I could not only wear around my house, but you guys were freaking crazy about the Niffler. Every person is, and if you are not, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but most of us girls are pretty crazy about the Niffler. We love Teddy. We think Teddy is amazing. And he can steal our jewelry any day because we know his little pouches and we will take it back. I'm just saying. Um, anyways, you guys, I got these this a really adorable skirt. I'm sure my husband is going to be super, super happy that I bought it. I did get, um, I think I got a large in this. No, I got a medium. Okay, so I got a medium in the skirt. And uh, it looks like it'll fit me pretty. I probably could have got a large. But I think I can get away with wearing the medium as well. And just let me show you the beautiful print on it. It has Teddy on it. <laughs> and has suspenders. I'm not feeling the suspender part of it. They're on my buttons. If you can't, if you can see that. I'll probably take my suspenders off. But I think this would be really cute with a little Niffler shirt or, you know... For me, I always wear like little, they're like um, little like boy shorts, 
but they're the spandexy ones. So they're like, I always wear underneath my skirt with, uh, of course, some kind of like, like either leggings or a type of pantyhose because I just, I don't know. I, I have done that since I was a little girl. I've always been a tomboy. So even as a little girl, I would climb trees and the purplest of dress because as you guys know, I absolutely love purple, but yes, this was $14.90 something. I can't remember exactly, but I did see, I went in there to make sure I got all the right prices, but I did see where they went up again. Um, but there are a whole bunch of things, um, women's clothing on there that is super awesome. They have this Dinjarin, uh, Grogu jersey that I would love to have that's on sale right now. They have a beautiful dress that there's a, uh, a really huge, um, Wizarding World fan that's on my Instagram. She wore it and it is gorgeous. It is a red, uh, satiny dress and it has the Marauders map all over it. So you guys, her universe, check them out. They're the ones where I got that beautiful bag from that I uh, talked to you about. And I also got this bag right here. Um, I have two of them, actually. This one I got off of there for 25 bucks. That's why I grabbed a second one, because my first one, I got it got a little damaged. Uh, not too damaged, but it, got, it did get a little bit damaged. Oh, and I was going to share this with you guys, too. Why not while we're having this like little haul together? So there are these little like, it's from the films of Harry Potter and the Wizarding World. This is the one magic artifacts from the Wizarding World. Now these are like the mini artifacts boxes. They have this one. They have, a I think they had a dark arts one, a Gryffindor, a Ravenclaw, a Slyther Slytherin, and a Hufflepuff. And I want to say there was like some kind of travel one as well. These are so super fun to collect, especially if you have a little one. I think this would be a perfect little book to open with a little one and kind of just have a fun time. This one, I love the color number one. And there's a couple things in it that I'm super excited about as well. It has um, one of these like little hold down fastening things, just like so that you're going to pop off. And then you're going to see Ollivander, Hermione. And then on the back, it kind of gives you a little cheat sheet of what's on it. We're not going to look at it too detailed. But, and when you open it, it's really cool. It's going to look like this. When you open it, okay. You talk about wands as if they have feelings. Harry Potter to Garrick. Is it Garrick? Ollivander, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, Part 1. Few moments are more important to a young witch or wizard than the moment they acquire their first wand. A wand is an instrument that channels its user's magic, but it's also so much more than that. Each wand has its own special characteristics, its own design, a wand won't serve just any master. And as the celebrated wand maker, Garrick Ollivander, says, it's not always clear why. And then there's more, but I don't want to spoil that if you want to read it to your little one. And then in the side, you're going to pull out these kind of little artifacts. Oh, I really would love to have this book, just how it looks in the movies. This is the Tales of the Beetle the Bard, and it's the one that Hermione had, and this is just kind of like a little paperback of it. And inside, it's even got like, oh, it's so, this is so cute. This will be so fun to do with a little one. Oh, looks like the Three Brothers. And look, it's in like ruins. So it's like, see it? See like the little... That's really, really interesting. I didn't realize that that was going to be that way. The Fountain of Fair Fortune. 
the wizard in the hopping pot and rabbity 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 and her cackling stump like that is so super super cute and then you have the dumbledore army student journal in it and it's going to have like a little journal that you could actually write in if you wanted to that is a really cute this looks like all of them and they're like casting their patronuses and then you kind of like just sit that back in there this is so cute. this is a really cute little collector's i think i'm going to try to get the gryffindor one and definitely the slytherin one because my house is uh full of gryffindors and slytherins and a slytherin is my other house that i would have been put into per potter more so and then when you open it it's going to look like this right here and then in each thing one talks about Dumbledore, Dumbledore's Army's wands, and then you're going to have, oh, we love this girl. Okay, so then you're going to have, like, pictures of Dumbledore Armies. Um, we have Luna, which, who does not love Luna? Okay, and then right here, you are going to have Harry Potter himself. You're also going to have Neville Longbottom, Hermione Granger. Ron Weasley and back to Luna Lovegood. It doesn't look like they put the twins in here or um, Cho Chang. And then remember like, um, yeah, we're missing quite a few in that one, but they give you a couple ones, couple, couple, one, couple of them. And then you have dark forces ones. So I'm sure you're going to get pictures of Voldemort. Hopefully we get about Bellatrix. You know, I know she a bad girl, but I love me some Bellatrix, y'all. Who doesn't? Okay, so then you're going to have um, Voldemort. Then it looks like Peter Pettigrew. And it shows you, oh, so it shows you their wands in the back. I'm so sorry I did not show that on the last one. This one, ah, Bellatrix. And it gives you like a little description of that on the back. Lucius Malfoy's wand. I think he has one of the most interesting wands. I love that it has a snake handle. And you guys know that my wand that I got from Universals is his wife, which is Narcissa. And I absolutely adore Narcissa. She is my favorite character. Um, one of them anyways, but she's on top for a character for me because she was a strong mom and I got my wand on Mother's Day so if you've ever watched any of my videos that talk about my wands here's another part of it where you get um stickers and this is so cute it's like a little um notepad that has all of Vander's on it and it, this talks about wand design and then this one has all of Vander's the wand chooses the wizard and it gives you like all these really cool stickers. And then on this side, it's like you go to Diagon Alley. See, and then right in there. And then it has Harry. That's so cute. I love the design of this book. It's a very interesting. Um, talk about Be the Bard, the Elder Wand. And then it has this like, um, like tickler. I think that's how you say it. Little like picture. I don't know if you can see that. And then also too, it has more about the wands and a little slot for like the magical mis mishaps. And of course we have our beautiful Ron Weasley. I mean, River Gant is such a beautiful kid. I mean, he's so kid, adult. He is him and his brothers. Listen, my oldest son has bright red hair. So for me, yeah, the Weasley family is just, oh, they hit my heart so hard. It's just not even funny. Like, I love them. So, and then you just get like all these cards and like all these kind of like explanations of all the mishaps. And that's my son being weird on his game. So, yes, there's so many different things. 
on here that you can kind of like just go through. Oh, that's so cool. And then it, they give you this beautiful pencil that's purple, which is my favorite color. And it's got like all the little Deathly Hollow symbols on it. And then I'm not sure what's inside here. So we are going to open that. Okay, so it looks like you get a little like wand. Kind of tells you like whose wand is who. And then there's like a whole, both sides have this on it. Which is really cool. I do have a wands book. Now, my wand book, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I got it secondhand. I can't help it. When I see this one right here, I got secondhand. When I see somebody, like, they're selling a book and I notice it's, I don't know. I just feel like I need to get it and just kind of bring it home, treasure it, because eventually it'll be worth something someday. And it is just something awesome to add to your collection. So for you, it already does. I did see something else in that little envelope. Let me see if I can. Um, I thought I've seen something. Whoop. Oh, that's really cool. So it is a keychain and it has a little wand and it's the elder wand. And I just like dropped. Yeah, I dropped that one though. It's a little keychain that has like the elder wand. It's like a little plastic little piece right there that you get out of that little little um thing let me pick that up you guys because i don't know that is a really cute fun book that you can get to kind of like for your kid or like i said there's other ones i'll grab some more and we'll like go through them if you guys are interested uh, but yes you guys so i have been working on this room I have all my Bradford exchanges kind of they're they're all set how I'm gonna set them and I have not gotten any more Bradford exchanges I think the last one I think was the last one the joke shop that I showed you guys or the leaky cauldron that was it like now I've seen pieces online that I could buy individually and I may do that because there is a piece that I'm missing that has McGonagall. Um, I don't mind doing that because like I can pay installment payments on those. But I got those set up. My pop shelf is just a flat mess. My wands are good. I'm happy how my wands are. Oh my poor. My wands are good and I love how I have my little magical creatures and I love how I have my bags. My, I have some hanging up. I have some on the shelf and then as I have like a little accessory shelf and then I have all these have my bags in it down here like the little ones or whatnot. But my potion shelf is it's so cute. I love it. It has I'm sure you can kind of like get a mini glimpse of it. It has Bellatrix in it and it also has, of course, Snape because that's his home. And yeah, I I love how my room is coming together little by little. My sons, they come in here and they get on, my oldest especially, because we play, excuse me, we play World of Warcraft together. So um, we get in here and we just kind of like, we share this room. And some of this, like, especially a lot of the wands are theirs. And especially this huge one, that's my oldest one, his first one when we went to the Wizarding World. So it is one of the uh, interactive ones from Universal's uh, Orlando. So a lot of my, a lot of this stuff is not all mine, but like the bags, yes. The bags are mine and um, some of the wands are mine, but in the little, like any stuffies or magical creatures, those are mine because... I am a huge stuffy girl. Like, I love my stuffies. And I have, like, some of my chests over here. I just don't know if you guys would want to see a tour of my shelves. Considering that I am pretty sure that you probably see a lot of people's shelves. However, I love looking at people's shelves and seeing their personality get put into their shelves. Whether it be Harry Potter, whether it be Disney whether it be Star Wars, whatever books, I love it. I love it. So you guys keep putting those shelves out there. And to my collective community, I love you guys. You guys are so encouraging. 
And I hope we keep that trend up throughout this year. Just let's encourage each other, help each other, be there for each other. And yes, if you're a collector of Loungefly, a collector of Disney, Harry Potter, whatever, Legos, you're, you're a part of my family in my eyes. And for all you guys that are watching that are part of my family, thank you so much. And like I always say, do what makes you happy, even when others don't understand. Bye, y'all. Love you.